air signs gemini libra and aquarius welcome to my channel this is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i appreciate your love and support i do your reading almost daily and i upload your videos right away so these messages are current in this reading for those of you currently seeing someone new we are going to find out if this connection will turn into a serious relationship and this question is in an experimental phase hence it's a collective reading uh, if you like this type of reading, click like so I'll know to do more of these in in the near future. Alright, Air Science, let's get a reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me. Will this connection turn into a serious relationship for Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Oh my gosh, we got a tower in reverse. And air signs, just like what I've told the other signs earlier on, that this is the reading for those of you if you're just like currently chatting with someone, like on an online app, for example. Or it could be somebody you're just kind of like flirting with, or it could be like a fling or like a one night stand, something like that, yeah? Not someone that you're already kind of deep into, like, you are, you've already been with this person for like a while, you've been seeing this person almost like a relationship but hasn't actually turned into a relationship. Not for that kind of connection, yeah, to be honest. Because it feels so, so new, extremely new. Like the level of your connection with this person could be like at right now, at this moment, 0 0.5 or 1, okay? The level 1 or maybe 2, okay? Not even close to like half. That's what I'm getting here, okay? This is only for those of you in that type of connection. This reading is only for those of you in that type of connection right now. So eight of wands here is in reverse. You have to find out if this person is actually with the higher front here. You have to find out actually if this person actually uh, has somebody else. That is what I'm getting here because the higher front can indicate someone who has a like whole different relationship elsewhere, or could be engaged with somebody, or could be like uh, married so be very careful because it was in reverse in any case this person is lying about their status whether they're single or they could be lying that they're single complete single um just be very careful and the hangman here is in reverse and we've got the king of swords here this is your energy you're gonna find out and i feel like you're gonna cut this person off you're going to even block this person, two of swords here. You're going to block this person and you will never want to speak with this person again with the moon. <laughs> You're not the only sign that's, uh, that has this news, to be honest. Uh, there's another, another other sign that has, a few other signs that have a similar, similar message. And seven of cups here is in reverse. You're going to find out that maybe you are one of the options. And then we've got the hermit here. And Spirit's definitely saying, hey, be very wise and do your research. And uh, it feels like this person is lying, okay? In regards of their, their status here, whether they are married or have another, whether they're in a relationship with somebody else. None of sorts here is in reverse. Spirit says, don't waste your time thinking about this person or don't waste your time losing sleep over this person or wondering if they if they are going to commit or both of you will turn into you know all this connection will turn into a serious relationship feels like with the two of swords here it's best if you just cut this person off i feel like you're going to you find something out with the king of swords here some of you you already know because the hermit is sitting in your uh present position so you have some doubts in regards to this person there's something that just doesn't it doesn't, um, something that just kind of doesn't make sense, okay? I feel like this eight of wands, it could be from uh, both of you, from your communication with this person, or from something that you may have seen, yeah? Could be words, could be texts, WhatsApp, or, you know, 
could be something online that you may may have seen. I definitely sense a lot of you may have a little bit of an inkling that this person may have somebody else with the heart front here. And the hangman in reverse is gonna come out from this dreamland. <laughs> I'm saying dreamland. It's because, you know, when something is new, you feel like a little bit tingly in your uh, in your stomach, like butterfly in your stomach. Hey, you know, this person, um, this person may attract you in some way, shape or form, but I feel like deep down you, because the Hermit is a Virgo energy and Virgos are very intuitive. So I feel like intuitively, and plus the moon here can indicate intuition. Intuitively, you kind of know that this person maybe has somebody else. Or it could be from people talking, 801s, or like online. You may have seen something or from the way they talk with you. It's just really, really suspicious, right? And this person is definitely hiding a lot of things, uh, carrying a lot of, uh, hiding a lot of secrets, carrying a lot of secrets. And two swords here, again, they, you know, they don't want you to find out. I feel like number two also can indicate a choice between two person. This person may have, again, other options because seven of cups here, seven of Some of you, you want to figure out if this person has somebody else, has, if this person has other options. And I feel like they do, okay? They do, or that they have a whole nother marriage or another, but it's not just any, any, any connection that they may have outside of you. It feels like it's something serious so that's to cut this person off and again the moon here things are gonna be very uncertain between the two of you um i just feel it's dangerous it's dangerous for your heart dangerous uh, and also it could be a waste of your time that's definitely what i'm getting here yeah this person is not sincere oh look at the seven of swords here don't, don't trust this person. Yep, Three of Pentacles put you in a third party situation. Non committal judgment here. Tons of baggages from the past, or um, they may not be a very good person. Yep, very, very manipulative. We've got the magician right here. You need to think long and hard and then forget about this person. That's what I'm getting here. And um, the magician, again, this is somebody who wears uh, a self. Full self mask on, they can be very deceptive, they are very childish, page of cups and up first. They're not committed, committed, they're not ready to be really committed, not even with the other person that they could be dealing with. And the seven of swords, yeah, I don't like these two combinations, right? The seven of swords and the magician here. This is somebody who will do whatever it takes to get what they want, but for their own benefits, definitely somebody very selfish. Definitely a cheater and a liar. And Spirit saying to avoid this person at all costs with the tower here in reverse. Because this person can ruin your mood, ruin your life. That's what I'm getting here. I'm so sorry I have to say this. It's always very risky when I do this type of reading. Because then people get upset, right? Because they want their hopes. They want to, they have high hopes on someone you know, on someone, on a connection, and hoping it could turn into a very, very serious relationship. But then again, like I mentioned, this is someone very extremely new, very, very extremely new. So I feel like it's okay for me to say this because, you know, so you won't waste any, any more of your time with this person. And to me, on to the next, yeah, on to the next person. This per person is just going to waste your time. Definitely a very dis dishonest person, very deceptive, and the judgment is here. You find out, for some of you, you will find out these things about them. Maybe they have somebody else. They may even have an affair with someone at work. That's what I'm getting here. They could also be flirting with people at work as well. And um, could be a bit of a lazy person as well, King of Pentacles and Reverse lazy or not financially stable or if it's not that it's them just a non-committal person dishonest non-committal someone uh, that you cannot rely on even if you would get into a serious relationship with this person this person is gonna lie their teeth out okay they're gonna lie they won't be a dependable 
uh, partner. All right, air signs. Uh, this is your reading. Oof, if you find it useful, <laughs> please click like, share, and subscribe. And also, uh, you guys know that this reading is in an experimental phase. So, uh, I mean, this question reading is in an experimental phase. So, if you would like me to do more of these readings, just click like so that I know uh, from the analytics because I can see like certain reading if the likes are higher or views are higher then i know that i will repeat then i will repeat that type of reading all right and also i'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel um it says asia on it and the second playlist is um a bonus compilation reading all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions, you can click on it, scroll the way down, look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. Um, and also, I'm actually open for personal readings. If you guys would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And also, for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.